The three lava streams which have invaded the Swarovski area are not going to cool down. They have not stopped. We are spraying water on them as long as we have the water tank full and providing the cooling effect to actually solidify this lava. The lava just evaporates the water. It dissipates, it disappears back to the atmosphere. And the lava flow is not affected at all. It's a slight discoloring, of course. The one to the right is a slightly less red. That means it's cooling down. Probably it's working. Yeah, it's working. But we need more. At the moment, this is active. Next minute, it will not be active. The water spray I'm talking about. So we have to uh, build the wall. But this lava flow is not going to stop. This is nothing to do, this volcano, which is a K1, uh, the material, the lava, has nothing to do with the sourcing material. This is something from the uh, Fegadesville uh, deep source. And uh, in that sense, the magma is different. It has an unknown amount of the magma erupting in this area. And if it happens again uh, from the sourcing, that will be added to this. Fortunately, we don't have that much, uh, you know, the magma under there to erupt at this stage. These are the three flows I was talking about. First defense, second defense, and third defense is now built. Uh, we are waiting to see what will happen. The cooling effect has not been effective so far. And now we understand how it was when we were trying in the 1970s to cool down the lava. What was the effect and how difficult it was. That was a fate to do by that time. Watch that video I have. As the world knows, uh, Grindavik, the port town in the Iceland, the Reykjanes Peninsula, is in danger because of an imminent eruption may cut through the town and reach the sea. Uh, there are potential other ways also, but that depends where the eruption happens. We have the swarms of earthquake and a seal is formed under the Grindavik up to the Swartzengi power plant. We are trying to save the a power plant, but not yet the town itself. Uh, this is not something new. Hey, May Island in Iceland in 1973 was in the similar situation. We had a volcano eruption there. Uh, it was one of the iconic uh, um, times in uh, in the volcanology because for the first time uh, we tried and we successfully stopped the lava flow by pumping water onto it. The lava was almost covering one-fifth of the town, and we tried every second 400 liters of water was pumped and also directed by laying pipes onto the uh, town. This is the iconic image of my time, and is world famous probably. Before the water and after the water went there, we pumped it over there, it solidified the lava, stopped it from moving, and then we were able, we were able to clear uh, the town, the port. And uh, now even after those, all those years, the town is back on its knees. The fissure that erupted, you can see the black line coming from diagonally. And you can see in the aerial photograph of the area, uh, this region, how it affected the whole town. This is very similar to what we have in Grindavik, in the Grindavik today. And uh, it is quite possible that we will successfully can stop this lava flow by uh, pumping water. We need very big, powerful pumps. I have videos about the situation where lava flows enters the sea and what happens when such a thing happens. And also before that, with the lava boats uh, that can put life and property in danger. Apocalyptic views of lava flow from the Cumbre Vieja volcano. Now, two months has passed. Volcano has not stopped. It's coming directly from the core mantle boundary, like a welding torch, made a hole in the uh, Atlantic Ocean and created the La Palma originally. Now, is adding to the land mass of the island. But the lava is flowing down the hills, going toward the ocean, this is the flow that nothing can stop it. I will show you a map that shows how it uh, moves toward the 
uh, see where, where it has covered actually. When it reaches the sea, it just looks like Jurassic Park. Things are falling down, rolling down. The seawater waves are coming toward the uh, headland created by this lava flows. Any moment you may see a dinosaur coming out of the Royal King Kong. And that is how it looks. This is a 3D model we have created and it shows the lava flow where it ended up on the sea. The older ones you can see that they are created layered lava as cliff that we see. It's an apocalyptic view. It's a very strange phenomenon. What is a lava boat? This is a phenomenon we see when we have a volcanism and the lava which is flowing is very viscous and it can flow easy and because uh, on the way it faces boulders and rocks from the either the native or previous eruptions of itself even its own solidified lava uh, it can keep them floating on top of it they're less dense than the lava uh, flowing underneath and they float on it and they can be carried by the flow of the lava as you can see it takes a while sometimes because the level of the or the slope of the uh, flow is not much but then they enter a pool of lava and you can see that they float on it this one was sinking almost and as you can see here it can be blocked uh, even in the lava channel when the sides of it are solidified and forming kind of barrier like a groove inside of it the lava is yet hot and flowing it can carry pieces of its own wall uh, this is also again from the la palma as you can see huge that boulder is probably near 10 to 15 meters and uh, there are examples of it uh, in elsewhere this one was really interesting in that sense it just was uh, seen for a long period of time from the source almost the source to where it was actually deposited eventually they will be stopped you know they get a stock somewhere they stay there and as they are in contact with the lava they're all the time cooling it down solid in contact with the hot liquid they absorb the heat from it and gradually just the flow gets thicker and it cannot flow as it used to so this viscosity will increase and makes the lava to solidify in that sense it will form a kind of like an island and any flow can flow around it this is from the la palma as you can see the eruption 2022 and this is flowing very uh, rapidly and uh, carrying the raft with it these are rafts or lava boat carried by the uh, flow of the lava as you can see here it's quite uh, yeah, quite deep actually, probably five, six meters deep. And the sides are solidified as you saw. So it can be carried a long distance if it is like that, the volume is too high. 